When former NFL star Aaron Hernandez passed away in jail, it was widely reported that he self-deleted himself. Now, the self-deletion letter that he left behind to his family gave us no reason to believe the self-deletion theory was incredible. Shay, which is his wife, you have always been my soulmate and I want you to live and know I'm always with you. I told you what was coming indirectly. I love you so much and know you are an angel. We split into two to come change the world. Your characteristics is that of a true angel in the definition of God's love. Tell my story fully, but never think anything besides how much I love you. This was the Supremes, the Almighty's plans, not mine. I love you. Let blank know how much I love her. Look after blank and blank for me. Those are my boys, parentheses, your rich, underline, underline, parentheses. I know I loved you equal savage garden that parentheses you're rich underline underline to his wife was presented to the public as a motive as to why aaron hernandez may have self-deleted himself apparently there's a new law in massachusetts that if you die while in the process of appealing a conviction well the charges are dismissed and you are exonerated and you die an innocent man dying an innocent man was important to aaron hernandez because that was the only way to protect his assets the Patriots, who owed Aaron Hernandez about $14 million in guaranteed money, said, yo, we're not paying you, right? Because this conviction voids the contract. And Aaron Hernandez was being sued by Odin Lloyd's family, the person he was convicted of killing. So him dying an innocent man sort of helped the civil process and opens and free up a lot of the money that he would have lost. His family can now get it. His daughter can now get it. The prosecutors did fight back against this, citing that Aaron Hernandez did this on purpose and that if we just allow any inmate to self-delete himself to avoid charges, bruh, then that kind of undermines the legal system. They brought forth an inmate who stated that Aaron Hernandez told him about his plans to self-delete himself, you know, to die an innocent man and have the money go to his family. A judge heard the state out, but ultimately said, go on with that, bruh. Aaron Hernandez's charges will stay vacated because that's just how the law works. While the report does state that Hernandez had recently mentioned to one inmate a rumor that if an inmate has an open appeal and dies in prison, he is acquitted of the charge and deemed not guilty, there is no indication that he had been so advised by any attorney. The mere awareness of such a rumor hardly is sufficient to warrant the inference the Commonwealth seeks to draw with respect to the defendant's specific intent. So I always thought the death of Aaron Hernandez wasn't really a mystery and we all knew what Aaron Hernandez's cause of death was and what the motive was, but apparently we're not all on the same page, right? Because NFL star Chandler Jones took to his Twitter to put a more mystery into Aaron Hernandez's death and even becoming accusatory at some point in his live stream. Wait, they don't know what happened with Aaron Hernandez and Josh McDaniels. All right, y'all. Y'all thought Chico killed himself in jail? Y'all thought my nigga Chico killed himself in jail? Oh. <laughs> oh. Josh McDaniels, the person who he's insinuating has something to do with Aaron Hernandez's death, is the current coach of the Raiders, the same team that Chandler Jones played for. But Josh McDaniels was employed by the Patriots as the offensive coordinator, I believe, at the time that Aaron Hernandez and Chandler Jones both played for the Patriots at the same time. So that's where the connection is. But nonetheless, bro, I think this is bogus. My first time watching this video, my initial and jerk reaction was CTE, methamphetamine, or bath salt must be the diagnosis. Because bro been tripping for the last month and a half. Now, I'm somebody who's all for the conspiracy theory, right? Like, when he come on Twitter and say, ask Mark Davis, a.k.a. the Raiders owner, yo, ask him why I haven't been playing. In same way, and he got a big, dark secret he's holding over Mark Davis's head. I'm all for a conspiracy, so I was intrigued when Chandler Jones disappeared 
from the internet and came back a few days later claiming they just institutionalized him against his will and it was the Raiders organization that put him in the hospital. So I again I'm again I'm intrigued. You telling me you got a story of a big bad greedy billionaire trying to silence this little man who got a deep dark secret on a big greedy billionaire? Bro, tell me mo. But at some point we got to be able to distinguish between crack and a headline. <laughs> all right, uh, all right, a credible story and bath salt. <laughs> and this right here screams bath salt. But I may have spoken too soon because some old footage surfaced of Cam Newton, Fred Taylor, and others talking about Aaron Hernandez's death and how they are also suspicious in the manner of his death. The day before he allegedly committed suicide. I, we we just had a conversation before he before what hold on when before he allegedly before he allegedly committed suicide, we just talked he's in great spirits like like we chopping it up he was yeah big dog you know I'm here man you know I, my family this and that everything is good 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 so when they say he committed suicide I'm sitting here like I just talked to him last night right you know what I'm saying he ain't even mentally built like that he wired but, different. The, you know the, the when they so we all got we all got different different Chico stories. A hundred percent. Like I I was with Chico, like we was in the same recruiting class. So I seen the younger him. And and one thing that I'll say about him, how he's being portrayed as this villain, that's not him. Fred Taylor and Osho Senko both expressed skepticism over the self-deletion theory or report. And then after that, they began this love fest of Aaron Hernandez. And I'm just like, they're talking about this dude like he didn't get convicted of killing somebody in cold blood. And they're talking about him like he's not potentially responsible for almost three deaths. And there's floater theories out there. He's responsible for a fourth one because his gay lover in jail came out and reported, yo, Aaron Hernandez told me that he killed somebody else, right? So even if you had all the love in the world for this person, I feel like objectively you could say by all measures that humans got to determine what's a good person or what's a bad person and hernandez can objectively be called a despicable horrible evil human being who caused more destruction than love when he was on this earth but i guess you can ignore that and you know give him a love fest on your platform right but y'all let me know in the comment section man, what do you guys think right do you guys think that chandler jones is on that bath salt, or do you think that Chandler Jones is spitting and telling the truth, all right? It's your boy, Porta Flacco, man. Like the video, sub to the channel, comment for the algorithm. While you're here, though, man, click on the video somewhere on my screen to find out why this woman got arrested on her IG live stream for multiple felonies after doing this on live. Click on this video to find out why, right? I'm going to see you guys in this video. Uh, out of here, folks.